Welcome to a new episode of uh, coloring this beautiful door from Joanna Besford's Enchanted Forest. It has been a while. I took uh, some time off when it comes to drawing this particular page. And uh, then I fell ill and I lost my voice due to a laryngitis and um, well I just couldn't talk so I couldn't record any videos but now the voice is uh, slowly uh, improving and um, well let's do, do some more coloring and today I would like to continue uh, what I started in the last episode on the left side of the page I colored some shadows and now I would like to add a little bit more color to the stones over here and here and I will do that with warm brown tones well actually it's not very brown what I'm going to use but I'm going to use this one Venetian red from the polychromos series and I'm just going to add some color Now I already put some color on the stones on the right side of the door and uh, I really don't remember whether I used this Venetian red for that but you know stones never have exactly the same color so uh, what I mean is two stones never have never are exactly the same so you know, and with the blending and the layering that I do, it really doesn't matter so much. I am now going to use a warm grey, warm grey number 5, also polychromos. So I'm just adding color random, randomly, not really thinking about where to put it. Because this is just the first layer. It is uh, mid-June now that I am recording this um, video and um, let's use this one, Brunsville Dark Grey. It is mid-June so the garden is slowly maturing when it comes to the flowers Hanging baskets. I love flowers. But the last uh, couple of weeks we have had uh, a lot of rainstorms and thunderstorms to 
two days ago there was a report of a small tornado just a couple of miles from uh, our home here and uh, oh I wish I knew then I would have gone out and go look for that uh, for that uh, tornado it was a tiny one and it had no uh, it, there was no damage I think uh, tornadoes that uh, make no damage are just beautiful things. Here's the brown gray. Tornadoes are quite rare in the Netherlands, although they do occur once in a while. But it's not like uh, the United States uh, Tornado Alley. But the last few weeks we have had a lot of... Uh, well, spectacular weather, and uh, I just uh, uh, searched for the weather report of this afternoon, and it tells me that um, there is uh, there is a thunderstorm approaching. I cannot see it in the sky, but uh, within uh, an hour it should be here. There was a time that I would, uh, this is the next one, Nuga. There was a time when I wanted to study meteorology. But uh, then I found out that uh, that study, uh, well, It wasn't for me. I love extreme weather, but uh, it takes a lot of knowledge and analytical talent to do a um, weather forecast. So let's uh, just take a step back and I think it's a nice, it looks completely different than here the right side, but that is okay. I like this slightly darker touch, so I will do that over here as well. So this is the right side of the um, drawing and I'm going back to the one that I just started with. Venetian red. The laryngitis that I was having was so pretty bad. There was no way that I could uh, talk or sing. Singing was completely impossible. And uh, because there is a concert coming next weekend, in a couple of days, I will be singing Mozart. It is a, uh, here, let's do dark grey. It is a mass from Mozart. And uh, there is a soprano soloist uh, part in it. And I'm going to sing that. So because that was coming, I had to be very careful with the laryngitis. And that uh, I would not do any, uh, something to, that would uh, delay 
um, you know, delayed uh, healing. So for a couple of days, I didn't teach my students, I didn't sing, and I tried to speak as little as possible, and that worked. And uh, although I still feel a little bit of uh, discomfort in my throat, it is, uh, it is getting better. This is brown grey. For some reason I keep picking the Brownsville pencils, don't know why. It's just... Someone uh, told me that there is a uh, Brownsville set of pencils uh, for sale on the internet. The, the set that I have with the 100 pencils. It is available via Etsy.com and it is, uh, I believe it is being sold by somebody uh, in the US. So if you are interested, then I can um, send you the link and you can take a look. It is a set of a hundred pencils, the one that I have. This is the warm grey polychromos. I'm just randomly adding color. This is really nice. Okay, slowly start to uh, Yes, this is good. Now, as the color keeps building up on this in this drawing, um, the shaded areas need to become darker and darker as well. And at this point, I feel this really needs to be uh, the shaded area over here really needs to be much darker. Now, I don't want to rush anything but when it comes to using darker colors, because when you erase, you know, you can erase many colors, but it is better not to, uh, not to erase. I'm using this one, the Prismacolor Premier, 90% cool gray. Cool gray, that means that It is more in the, you know, you have warm greys and cool greys, and the warm greys have a slightly brownish quality, and the cooler grey is maybe more bluish. I um I have been coloring with the Prismacolors more and more in the last few weeks. And I have to say that I really really like these pencils. The only thing that is a problem is the breakage. But since I put them in the sunshine for over an hour, maybe two hours, the breakage has reduced. So I hope it will stay that way. 
Now many people complain about these pencils because their the wax bloom appears so so fast. Well, I have to tell you, I haven't seen any wax bloom. So if you are having problems with wax bloom, I think you are really pressing too hard. Because, you know, there have been many layers already here on this paper. And this paper is very smooth. But it is going very well still. So. Look now, this is the, this part, the lower part, I already put the extra color on it. And it looks so much stronger. This is good. So I will continue and add this color to the rest of uh, the shaded area. I hope the sound of this video is good because there was a video in which I wasn't very... Uh, it was hard to... Uh, th there was something off with... Oh, completely off with the um, sound I didn't know, I don't know what it was I'm just using a very light touch, like I always do. If you are um, looking for um, ways to improve your painting or a way to start painting and you know like watercolor or oil or acrylics or whatever pastels and you feel a little bit insecure about starting this uh, this uh, starting painting then I think just Coloring in a coloring book like this can help you to overcome the fear and it also can help you to uh, learn more about shading, colors, blending, you know, I always wanted to start painting and I did. In, uh, but not on a regular basis and then those beautiful coloring books arrived and this was my catalyst for learning more about doing arts Joanna Besford really helped me and still does to explore color <laughs> so I added more color already in the shaded area now there is one area that I need to do yet and that is the area over here I was very good in sketching with uh, charcoal, corals, charcoals, <laughs> and um, 
with graphite pencils but then when I would want to add color to it to the drawing then I would fa have a hard time just choosing the colors and determine how dark they should be or how light they should be I just had no idea how to figure that out I found, found it hard to see what they call tonal values in color you know they speak a lot about uh, dark tones, mid tones and light tones and when I made a drawing just only with graphite pencils it was no problem for me to see which areas were darker and which were lighter but then when I had to do the same in color I would find it very hard to uh, to pick the right tones and colors and just a drawing like this just helps you uh, it helped me to learn more about colors and their tonal values and it helped me so much that now there are three canvases hanging in our living room I posted uh, some pictures of them three canvases and I am painting or painting there there is no other room in the in the in the house where I can store them and work on them so I, they are just hanging in the in the living room it looks really nice already and um, well it's not every day but uh, many evenings I uh, pick up the pastels because I am painting it with the pastels and I'm just uh, adding some color to the painting now I would never ever have dared to start a large project like that but just coloring in these beautiful coloring books helped me to um, become confident enough to give it a go so I'm now going to add some more color to the background here on the wall and I'm going to use this one brown ochre by uh, Polychromos if you are hear a little noise that is from another phone that is lying here on the table There are some messages coming in, but uh, they can wait. I'm just adding this beautiful brown ochre. I have to think about these flowers what color do they have I could leave them white but uh, I think I will eventually give them uh, color I think the storm is approaching it is starting to rain right now I've been doing experiments lately with uh, recording my videos 
I recorded some and um, I, I recorded more than one on one day and then I scheduled them and um, although that is very handy it is less fun because I really like the idea that I am coloring together with you and if I record everything in advance and then schedule the videos then that feeling is gone so the only downside about coloring almost real time because I'm coloring now and I'm uploading tonight is that when the situation comes up then there will be no video in time just like with the uh, the cold that I was having if I would have had um, a lot of videos already recorded then there would be no problem at all and there would have been a video for you available but I just think it is much more fun to uh, at least pretend that uh, we are coloring together this looks good and now I will add a little bit of green and let's see let's try this one Faber Castell light green so I decided that I prefer um, the feeling of coloring together with you and then uh, you know when something comes up then j there just will be no video that is uh, that is the downside but this feels so much more be much better feels so much better Unfortunately, YouTube has a very handy tool for uh, finding out if there is a new video available. I'm going to use this one, Juniper Green. It's a cool dark green because if you subscribe to the passion for pencil channel you just will get a notification whenever there is a new video over 8000 people already subscribed isn't that great it is really so it is very special. I believe there are over 8500 80, 80, 80, 80, people who subscribe to the channel.
I love my polychromos pencils. Gorgeous. They are so precise. So on the left side you can see what I um, did and on the re right side you can see what it looked like before. So next time I will continue uh, coloring this uh, gorgeous page and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.